In this video I'm going to be doing a teardown of the T12 soldering station. So this one uses an external power brick and is made by Quico. Right now there's no iron in it so it's just saying no tool. But as soon as you plug it in it'll instantly start heating up and I've attached a 24 volt power supply to it. So it has around 70 watts of power. As you can see it's assembled by 4 screws on the back metal plate and then another 4 screws on the front so I'll go ahead by removing those. Now that we've removed the screws, uh, we can see that in the metal box we've got the main circuit board over here and then the back is just a switch which is connected to the power supply jack which is then connected to the PCB. As we can see here the board is based on a STM32 microcontroller. Over here we can see it's also got a buzzer but you can disable this in the settings. And then over here we have the programming header for the STM32. Over here there's a MOSFET so this controls the power to the iron. So I'll just quickly go ahead and reassemble it. So I've now fully reassembled it and it heats up really fast. So just to show how fast it heats up, I'm going to quickly switch it on. And as we can see, it's heating up very fast. Uh, it's almost as fast as a TS-80 or a TS-100. I've set it to 400 degrees. I'll set it to 300. To, so it's set to 285 degrees. And it also shows you the amount of uh, power you're putting into the iron. So how much of the, uh, the time the MOSFET is switched on and off to control it. And then if we go in here, as we can see, it uh, also has the settings option. So the stand time, stepping, so how many volts when you move this. And whether the buzzer is on and off, start mode. So if you click that, say work or sleep. And then there's the unit switch so you can set it to Celsius or Fahrenheit. I prefer metric units. And you can also adjust the language. You can calibrate the tip also. And just a few more settings like low voltage protection in case you're using it on a LiPo battery or something. So all in all it's pretty good. It's a lot cheaper than something like a TS40 or a TS100 costing only around £40 and it has quite a lot of power around 70 watts. The tips are also super cheap. Uh, this one over here cost me only around £2 to £3. Pounds. There is a link in the description to the one that I got. There's quite a few of them like there's one from KSGR. Uh, mine is from Quico or Quico I think it's called. Uh, but mine is uh, a bit cheaper because I'm using an external power supply which costs around another £10. But many laptop power supplies do work with them so if you have a spare one of those lying around you could use something like that. So it's pretty good for its value. In this test over here we have a really big uh, heat sink and connected to this solder joint over here and the other one on this side over there. So we're just going to see how powerful it is and see if it can melt the solder connected to this uh, big heat sink. For the test of the here, I've set the soldering iron to 375 degrees C and you can also see the power level, so right now it's around 20% uh, just um, idle. So the solder joint for the heatsink is over here, so I'm just going to place the iron on it without turning it. So it is managing to slightly melt it or 375C, uh, but we're not properly melting it and it is taking quite a long time. So I'm going to up the temperature. So the temperature is now set to 440 degrees C. It does go to a maximum of 480s. And yeah, now it's very easily um, sol uh, now it's very easily becoming liquid. It takes only a few seconds and it's doing it very fast.